Good to meet you. Yeah, you too, dude. Maybe I'll see you around. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, I'll see you on the uh, live stream. Yeah, we'll do. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Sorry. Facebook, the limitations of Facebook Live. Um, thank you. It was intense. It was very intense. Um, yeah, when I said to the guy, I was like, dude, listen, you, you realize that they think that you're going to kill that guy in cold blood, right? Like, like, that's why he's upset. Can you understand that, you know? Um, oof, man, that was very intense, but hey, we got in there and we figured it out what happened, or at least, you know, what everyone says happened. And, uh, we have about as, I think as much information as we can get about that. Um, uh, so Remember, um, everybody that just was in here, it was over, I think I just had 1,700 people watching that. Um, they're, they're all going to be confused as to why the feed went down and maybe not come back. So please share to get everybody back in here so we can show a little bit more about what's going on. Did they let him go? They let, um, I'm back in shop now, yeah. They let, they, let, uh, they let the guy go that was originally apparently in there like um, setting shit on fire. But the, what I was trying to get a, the point across to that guy is that, dude, like he doesn't represent us, and that's not what we're what we're about. We're not about vandalism and that kind of stuff. Well, sorry, I don't say vandalism. We're not about we're not about getting, um, you know, breaking into, you know, your your business that has nothing to do with the SPD, and you know, like that's. But but you see, that's the thing. You don't know who. Oh, you want me to explain what happened? Okay. Oh fuck. All right. No, I just didn't. I just do it. Okay. This guy, apparently somebody broke into that place, and god damn it, I told this story three times in a row just now. I'm not gonna wait, I'm not gonna do it again because there's still a lot of people coming in. Uh, let's see. Alu yes, thank you, anybody that was here. Please, please type it. It makes it, it's a lot easier for me. Looter broke in and burned a car, owners caught him and held him. Some girl said that. Uh, I know, people are gonna keep asking it. Uh, somebody said that he was, that, that she heard them say, shoot him, shoot him. You know, and she was like, "No." So um, that's, and then that situation kind of got out of control. He was let go. It's okay. No, it's okay. Not your fault. Um, can I pin that? Oh. Uh, well, I can. I can only pin one message, so I can't. Uh, they just, yeah, they let him go. It's alright. So. Oh my God, dude! It's been a day. Fuck. Ugh. It's been a day. Fuck. What time is it? 11.52. Almost midnight. Uh, as anybody remember earlier, the guy that was like, the guy that was like, oh, you're, you're, only, go, you're only streaming in the day so that you can cherry pick the footage and everything's peaceful. At night, it's not peaceful. Well, that did happen. I mean, but... That is never, that's never happened any of these days that I've, I've been here, and it was one guy. You see, you see how impossible it is for us to, to prove whether or not it was like just some instigator or not? Like All it takes is one random guy breaking into a nearby business and setting it on fire, and then all of a sudden, the whole movement has done it. You know what I'm saying? Like It's ridiculous. So, I, that's what I do. Subscribe so that um, so that we can so that we can keep showing you exactly what's going on here. Oh God! What happened? What happened? No, honestly, no. Okay, hold on. I cannot. You're right. No, no and, and actually, this is a really interesting. This is a really interesting uh, point. Like, can you blame uh, Gina Lutz? Says, can you blame the business owner? His shit just got set on fire. They called 911. Cops refused to respond. The fire department wouldn't respond. And he's out all that money and damages. You're right. 
I can't, no, I, I, I can't blame that owner for being extremely upset. I, absolutely, you're right. But I will say to you that that kind of thing is not what this is about and that's not what people want from people to do. You know, you can't control everybody, you know? You can just, you can just try. It's, 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 it's a hard situation, you know, because like, if that guy was part of BLM and this movement and he did that, he did that ag against the express wishes of everybody here. That, like, and, and, and if he was brought before everyone here, they would, inst everyone would be shaming him for, for, for damaging the message that much more. I keep hearing people say, that's not our narrative. It's not our narrative. We don't, we don't destroy local businesses. That's not our narrative. We don't, we, we don't even destroy the police station. That's not our narrative. Do you understand? <laughs> so. So. Um, so, yeah. So, that person. I mean, did, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The business owner, it, 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 it's very unfortunate for him. Like, it's not. It, it doesn't matter to him who it was. His, all, all that matters is his stuff is destroyed, you know? Which I, you know, like, I, and I kind of feel for him because he seemed actually like a pretty decently nice guy. Um, he wasn't one of the ones with guns or anything like that. So if, if if that was actually happening, then we don't know. But it wasn't the owner. And yeah, basically, I feel bad for the guy. But you know, like, when when this kind of stuff happens, and then it gets attributed to like, you know, like like you just saw what happened there, right? The the equivalent of what's been happening is like. Um, is like is if tomorrow you turn on the news and you and you hear that oh uh, a, a, a giant group of armed Antifa broke into a, bus a local business and set cars on fire, you know, and 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 then say oh that that's what this whole thing is about. This is what they do. That's that's exactly what would be pretty much like what they've been doing. So tomorrow I would not be surprised if you hear some sort of some sort of story about that. <laughs> But you see how, how blown out of proportion and basically just false that is. Show us the garden. Well, I can show you this. We've got, we've got stuff growing here. It looks like, a, I don't know what that is, parsley? Um, show you the garden. I don't know the business name. It's a car, it's a, like a little a personally owned car dealership. You see, yeah, that's the thing. That's what happens is that the, something like that gets taken and then it gets just completely, you know, it's like, oh, and you know what they'd say? They'd say that Raz led it. You know, they'd say, oh, yeah, Raz, the warlord Raz and his cronies, you know, took 12 guys with AKs and, you know, like, that's, that's the kind of shit that they say and, and blow out of proportion for a situation like that. So. You love the candles? Keep getting, ref keep being refreshed? Yeah, they do. I think my charging cord is going out. Oh no, it's it's in my bag connected to my phone. It's been like that all day. Uh, man, we lost a lot of people. See, that's what happens. You know, people. Do you notice? Like, I had like 800 people watching, and then like as soon as as soon as like I ran, I started running over to help or to to like film the the unrest that uh, <laughs> that uh, it it turned into uh, like 1,200 or uh, it like basically the number doubled because. Whenever there's like a chance of violence or anything like that, it just that's what everybody wants to see. It's so crazy. Oh, okay, it's all good. I don't, I don't care. Um, it's unfortunate because if people don't come back to the stream, like there was people saying that I was just trying to cherry pick my footage from the from the daytime and not show the nighttime. I'm right here. You know, and you can see that it is peaceful. Like what you just saw, that is that is not anything close to what's actually, you know, what this is about or anything like that. Hold on. Um, Shay, um, it's a good question. When am I coming home? Um, let's see. I'm not sure. Um, I want to stay for another hour, at least, probably. Pro let's say, all right. Let me, let me put a hard, a hard cutoff time on this. Let's see, I'm at. It's 11:58. Um, 11:58, which means that there's probably not 
going to be a whole lot more going on. There's not going to be any, like, I don't think there's going to be any public speaking or anything. I've pretty much, actually, I've pretty much covered everything. Who was the guy that set the fire? Was it ex internal or external? Do you know? Um, it was, they broke into the, they broke into the, uh, the car dealership and set some cars on fire inside the dealership. They put them out and everything's fine. The business itself is unharmed, I believe. Yeah, I sleep at home because I, you know, need to sleep. <laughs> um, all right, hard date to to take or hard time to come home. Uh, let's see. Tell it be like 30, 30, uh, 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, I, here's what I usually do around the end of my streams. I want to provide everyone the opportunity to ask any questions about anything that they saw today or that they didn't. They weren't. They weren't. Um, you know, they weren't clear on. Anybody right now can um, ask me some questions, and I'll ask, ask me some questions, and I will try to answer them before I go. But I'm gonna I'm gonna be leaving pretty soon. I'm gonna think like maybe half an hour max. It's 12 o'clock now, so. All right, let's see. Yes, I have a little bit of an adrenaline rush. Let's see. People always complain, but they're not the ones filming, so. Are you streaming on another place besides Facebook? I stream on this, and then there are a lot of Twitch streams that, um, uh, there's a lot of Twitch streams that multi-stream, so they pull streams from other sites and they kind of put them all together on one stream. If you don't know about that, go to Woke. Woke is really good. Um, they'll usually only have one one stream's audio on, though, so they'll switch between it, but depending on what's going on. I'm yeah. I'm not. I'm not personally on Twitch, but there's a lot of streamers that re that multi-stream my, my stream. Like Small Gamer. Small Gamer's cool. Um, let's see. I'm trying to. I'm trying to read them, but remember, as I go. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. What policing would look like if they hadn't killed that guy? It wouldn't have burned and unburned anything. Yeah, right there. I mean, okay, let's see. Okay, somebody that says police are less likely to shoot a black person than a white person, God, you, you're just actively, you're just actively trying to make big people pissed off. You don't stay for the chaos, bro, I do. Oh, there's a pin question? What? There's not a pin question, I don't see it. Thank you, Allie, for appreciating what we're doing. Um, there's camping in the in the baseball field. Uh, I can walk through the baseball field while I answer questions. Um, I'll walk around the left side so that you can. It's more lit up there. It'll be easier for my phone. This is why uh, Brad earlier was offering me uh, was offering me uh, lights for this. Uh, I don't see a pin question. There's not one. I'm sorry. Are the businesses in the interior inner corridor open and running? Yes. Um, well, as much as they they would have been either way, like. This has an effect if, if they opened or not. It's, it's all COVID and how you know how our government is or our local government is reopening everything. It has nothing to do like if if a business is closed, it's not because of this here. It's because they just weren't going to open until phase two anyway. We're in phase one point five right now. Um, let's see. Uh, say thank you. I want to say thank you, Katie. Um, last week they didn't. They were protesting and in front of it, and the police packed up. I can't read every single one of these questions. Um, do you honestly think this will last? Okay, I'm not gonna answer that question because it's just pointless. Um, what measures need to happen for this to come to an end? I missed the earlier response. Um, uh, uh, right now, CHOP and the movement here ha has four demands. Uh, number one, defund SBD by 50%. Number two, uh, re redistribute that money into the community for uh, social programs like mental health and um, drug addiction, things like that. Think, and take those and take those things away from the police. To, don't don't let them respond to that. It's not their responsibility any, anyway. Um, three, uh, release all the protesters and give them amnesty for everything that they've been arrested for. Um, and. Uh, four is no new youth prisons. No new youth prisons. That's the four. Um, that's and, and and that's that that'll be a really good start. And I think that if that happens, it it'll mean that there will be change happening in a real way, and people might relax a little bit. Uh, oh wow! News travels fast. Car, car dealer episode is on Twitter already. 
Um, was it true you guys called the fire department for a dumpster fire? No. Um, come back, Brad, if you're watching this uh, baseball field. And check the PMs I sent. I can't, D. I'm sorry. I, if, I, if I check PMs, I have to close the stream. Sorry. Um, what happens after midnight or like 1 a.m.? Most streamers shut down around that time. Yeah, it's because we've been out here all day usually and we're tired because all day is when things actually happen. Um, mostly it's just a lot of... Uh, mostly it's just a lot of... Uh, um, you know, nothing really. Just people hanging out and uh, like sleeping in their tents and... Um, uh, sorry. Um, there's night watch. There's night watch shifts where people man all the barricades and they keep make sure that there's people. There's people posted around the police station all, at all times to make sure that no one can come in and just start trying to set it on fire and say that that's that's us. You know. So that. Um, that's about it. Let's see. BLM did not set the fire. Blah blah. blah. Um, is free everything? Yes, everything's free because it's all community donated for the community from the community. Um, it's very peaceful. Unlike when the police were here. Yeah, and I am, and I am out there um, after 1 a.m. Uh, several, like sometimes. Uh, two, two days ago, I was here till th I think 3 or 4 a.m. Um, let's see. If the police can't control their blood to listen cops, how can the decentralized movement be expected to control every person in the entire city? Um, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. Um, best place to go for live streaming. Um, if you want specifically Seattle, um, actually, yeah, yeah. If you want specifically Seattle, um, there, I posted on, it follow this page and I posted on it earlier. There's a, there's a, um, there's a, a resource you can use. It's, it's a link. You, all you do is click the link and it has a, a list of all Seattle streamers, all every, everything, uh, you, you can find it really easily. I posted it last night. Uh, and there's even like traffic cams and stuff you can check. So there's that. Um, I suggest for Seattle mainly, I would say Small Gamer. I like Small Gamer a lot. Um, you'll find it in that list. Um, Omari Salisbury is really good. Um, uh, fuck, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, but if you if you want just regular protests like all over the country, um, there's uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, woke Woke on Twitch. W O K E. He has. He, he usually has um, feeds from all the different uh, violent, most violent cities and most tumultuous cities. Um, that's about all I got to say about you. That. Uh, let's see. God damn it. Okay, there's a lot of fucking questions here. Bye, Robbie. Um, what's going on there? This is right here. This is what you're seeing. What you're seeing right here is a. It's it's a. It's a food station. It's just food that's been donated by the community to help uh, feed feed everyone. Um, so you know that what happened, unfortunately. I don't care. Um, do you understand how once in the police office acting with ill intent could be blown into proportion to make all police look bad? Yeah, you're right. Yes, you're right. One one single police station or police office can be blown into proportion to make all the police look bad, similar to how one guy makes them look bad. Yeah, you're right. But the difference is, is that it's a systemic thing, and the police are, the police are, like, it ha it's, it's, but the thing is, it's not just one police station. It's happening everywhere. And even when, even when, even when it happens around good cops, when the good cops are incapable of doing anything to help or to, to, or to out the people, then it really doesn't matter how many good cops you have if the if the ones that are killing people are allowed to just do it just completely without any repercussion. Uh, and I and I and and actually I like that question bar baritone because I don't know if you're I don't know if you're on the other side or not of this, but um, I want you to really like it sounds like you're willing to listen. So please look up what qualified immunity is and um, and the way that police unions operate. Uh, like you might not even realize how insane and untouchable police unions uh, are and 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 in in direct uh, direct result police end up being untouchable and they can do whatever they want and all they have to do is go to a school for six months and there's people there's people out there that know all they have to do is go out there go to school for six months for to be a, a cop which is half like less than half the time a cosmetologist has to go to school or a barber 
and then they get a badge and they get the right to kill anybody they want and they can, and, they're, and they're probably not gonna they're probably not gonna get a charge with it as long as the person's not white and rich that's that's pretty much what somebody said earlier and I thought it was pretty cool so I, I remembered it um, but it's true it's true okay I'm gonna have to skip all the way down so someone that's over there filming everything and either selling it to the right-wing sites and actually working on right-wing sites video of what just happened is already on the right-wing news sites on Twitter well you know what if, if, if the internet's insane if somebody wants to go through my videos and figure out that last video and figure out where that person was taking pictures from and like where that person was taking pictures from and where they uh, and like what position they were in because I might be able to like narrow them down on the stream okay let's see oh look uh, Dexter thanks for the shout out we have your audio oh you have my audio up at the moment what's up small gamer and all of his people I love small gamer um, yeah when I when I cut this off in let's see uh, about 20 minutes um, go over to small gamer stream it's a lot of fun it's on Twitch and it's in that list that I gave you actually small gamers the one that gave me that list that I could give to you guys so that was pretty cool um, keep a tight perimeter on the station yep 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 um, you're demanding people who are arrested for looting and destruction be released but say you don't stand for that no we don't we don't support destroying businesses around here and stuff like that like but the, the, the reason that was an outrage was because apparently it sounded like they were gonna kill the guy for setting fires it's like yeah sorry it's like yeah okay so so you're gonna you're gonna um, like okay sure he shouldn't have he shouldn't burn their property for sure but you should never kill a person take their life over property like that that's kind of the point um, you can see tents over there it, it just goes on it just goes on and on and on throughout the uh, throughout the the field back there there's a lot there's a lot of field there's a lot of tents it's crazy but I'm gonna keep walking around the perimeter so you can see let's see uh, walk by the car shop I could do that uh, I'm kind of going that way so we'll see feds are gonna wait out till there's a food blah blah blah, blah, blah. you brainwashed or generative okay um, right. <laughs> oh thank you whoever's modding and fucking pinning these comments I can't get through them all thank you I went to school for seven years to become an attorney but beat cops just go to boot camp for six months and everyone thinks they're criminal law experts Uh, is that a question? Yeah, okay. Can 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 can, can mods can mods help me out and uh, like uh, find find some comments that are um, can mods help me out and find some comments that are uh, that are being asked and questions that are being asked? Um, so I can so you can help me out a little bit with uh, Sorry. Is the coffee good? Um, it's Seattle. All the coffee's good. Probably compared to wherever you're from. It's awesome. Super cool. Uh, yeah, Joey Weiser. I don't really know him that well, though. Uh, he, but he was filming the uh, the march with me. He was there with me. Oh nope, no cameras. This is um the. Um, this is another, I can't, I can't film it, but this is another, um, booth with just a ton of supplies, just a shitload. Um, this is also more of a medical station and it actually has a full on medical tent set up. This is like a, like a wartime triage tent, which you can actually see cause it's not, yeah, but that's about it. So, and there's that, what's that? Uh, so that's tents and this is where people sleep over here. Oh shit. Sorry. There might be people sleeping right now. So I'm going to be quiet. What, okay, I'm gonna have to just scroll all the way down to the, the bottom because I'm not I'm never gonna be able to catch up to all those comments. Uh, what about guns at checkpoints? Um, entering Chaz. Okay, um, that's a good question because everybody wants to know about the gun situation with all the misinformation and everything. Um, let's see. Um, there, there are people that are in charge of security. Uh, I interviewed one of them the other day. You can look back on the stream. Uh, I think they clipped it for you, so you can just watch a clip. This guy was um this guy was um 
Oh, look, it's like we, uh, this is a bunch of clothing. Clothing, uh, now we have a clothing donation area over here. So for clothing for people like homeless and stuff, which is awesome. I didn't see that before. Um, there are people in charge of security. Uh, I interviewed this guy. He was four years of a Mar he's four years a Marine, and he was there, and he said, number one, this is not at all the kind of uh, America that he had been fighting for. The fact that we can't we can't even protest without getting uh, hit with a war crime. Uh, and then he also like th they have guns, but also that's okay because wa Washington is an open carry state, and and they all have paperwork for their guns. They're not they're not threatening anybody with those guns. They're not you know, making anybody feel uncomfortable, and everyone inside the zone feels more safe because of it. At, at least 10 times more safe than the cops. They're marching now? Oh, are you fucking... S okay. Uh, I, I can't miss this, right? Like, fuck. Let's see. We'll see. If, okay, if that's if, if that's bullshit, then that's okay. But and and, and I'm gonna continue. To, but if, if they actually are marching, I have to go. Like I have to. Wait, have they already marched, or are they about to start? Uh. Greg Gonzalez says, I can't help but think that the government is giving people a sense of freedom, a false sense of freedom and security. Do you think that they will strike when they have their guard down? Um, no, honestly, I think it's more likely that they're just trying to give us what's called a false victory. It's where they make you feel like you won something that doesn't really matter, which is this. This is, this is, this is not a strategic a strategic location to dominate you know there's no that we don't get anything from having this the best part about it is basically that the police station is a symbol of oppression and we get to we get to do what we want with it which is the best but uh, but um, but no I think it's more likely it's a false victory which is when they give us a victory something that doesn't matter make us feel really good and then we drop our we drop our uh, our guard we drop our guard and we and we, and we relax and get comfortable, which you can see this festival vibe. I think that it, so on some level it happened a little bit. But, okay. Being played by the power people, yeah. They're creating, yeah. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. Huh? I, gotta, I gotta scroll all the way down. I don't see anybody marching, and if they did, I missed it. God damn it. I'm gonna be really mad if I didn't fucking make it over there. Do I believe in the New World War agenda and what do I think about it? Um, that's that's a lot of tinfoil hat shit. I mean, I, I get it and I, and I, and I actually do. Uh, enjoy conspiracy theories and to kind of indulge them a little bit just to just to kind of uh, it, like it, it's interesting anyway um, but I, I do believe some things about that whole that whole new world or thing that 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 there might be you know a group of people very powerful that might pull strings and make decisions and and protect their interests you know like why not why wouldn't that be a thing that could happen I mean if you were one of the most powerful people in the world wouldn't you try and get your little rich homies together and and try and make sure you stayed that way, right? I mean, you had all the more power than God. Wouldn't you do it? But anyway, let's see. Who are, are you live? Yes, I'm live. Who are you? My name's Ian, and I'm trying to show everybody this stuff. I don't see any march. Oh, there is a march going on? Well, they're gone, right? Joey, right? Are they, uh, are they marching or what? There's a midnight. Well, yeah, I didn't. I, didn't I, I missed it too. I'm yeah. pissed. I didn't see them leave. Yeah, me either. Uh, yeah, I guess they are. I don't know where they went. Though. Okay. I so, think they went downtown. But the, sure if they're marching, they're probably marching to the West Precinct again. Um, just, they were already there, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Um, all right. Some, so some people on stream told me that we, you and I sound alike, so that so they so on stream they they confuse when you or I are on like woke or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's just funny. Are you streaming on 
Twitch or do you just? I, I'm on I'm on Facebook Live. Yeah, okay, uh, that's what I do. Yeah, yeah, and but. Are you right now? Live? Yeah, yeah, I'm live right now. Oh, okay, someone just asked. Me. Yep, that's Joey. Uh, Joey up, W. Everybody? What's up, everybody? Yep. Yeah, um, bitch, is this me, what's your person last? Oh, it's yeah. Ian Kennedy. Oh, but um, but I, I stream from uh, a media page. Okay. Um, Some of the folks internally are like, who's live right now? So oh, right, right, right. Yeah, it's concrete reporting. Got it. Right. Search for that on Facebook and you'll find it. Um, also, you know what? I'll I'll find you on Facebook and uh, Small Gamer has this really good. Yeah. Oh, did you get did you put the the list of all the different streamers? Did um, you get that? One of them, Evil Amos and Small, I think, have been in contact with me, and they're they're doing some back and forth taping all the videos. Yeah. So that's been really helpful. Okay. All right. Cool. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's me right there. Okay. For sure. Cool. Thanks. Liked it, and then I'm gonna send this link. Yeah. And and you guys, if when I'm about to go, are you gonna keep streaming? No, I'm done. For the yeah, time. I'm about to stop too. And I missed the I missed the march and. I caught the tail end of it. I was in my buddy's apartment. And I could hear it out the window. Oh yeah. Like, oh my that, I, Yeah, I okay. saw you. I saw you run up, and I was like, oh look, Joey's joined the Joey has joined the chat. <laughs> Perfect. Guys. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. I'll see you around. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, the first real conversation I've had with Joey Weiser. Um, I, I I mean, it's funny because like when you're streaming this stuff. You like you hear about all these other guys that are on here that are trying to work like pretty much as hard as you and do the same thing that you're doing, and you just kind of like you just think anybody with a phone up could be them. But yeah, it's just interesting. We we have this like weird little community now of just like like bootleg wartime journalists. So there's there's going there's a march going still. Andrew is in it. Andrew, oh is he? Oh well, good. Andrew's there. Um. Um, I'm not gonna be able to make it over there. I'm sorry. I if I had if I had if I damn I'm really fucking pissed off that I missed it. Um, oh shit! Let me turn my camera away. Um, shit. What do people say? This looks like hell on earth because they they just wanna they just wanna tear it all down and tear down everything we stand for and just insulting it and shitting on it makes them feel like they're winning. Um, James Sargent, that's a good question. Um, James Sargent wants to know, what's the whole point of the occupying a few city blocks? What's this going to do? Um, when you, I mean, if you, if you know about protesting and, you know, like, the, the point is to disobey, occupy space, disrupt the, disrupt the system around you and create as much noise as possible so that you so that people start fucking listening and actually doing shit um the, the idea is to yeah it's not just about these these blocks either the, like honestly these blocks are not the important thing i don't know where this is at this is seattle washington we're in the chop the chaz whatever you've heard it's called chop it's chop oof 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 blm funds act Act Blue, which funds the Democratic Party. It's on their website. Look it up. No conspiracy. No, it's not. I mean, but I mean, it doesn't make it. Does, it's not very surprising that a uh, that a uh, um. It's not surprising that that the BLM would put their money into the Democrat Party because the Republican Party is definitely not going to help them. So I mean, like I don't know what you what you expect. You Seattle superheroes right here. Watch the the other side fucking tear this down. Like this is what we're doing. Hmm. Oh, there you go, Andrew Mercado. Andrew, here I'm gonna I'm gonna pin that by Jared. There you go. Everyone should be able to see Andrew Mercado's. That's it. That's how you spell it. If you want to leave my stream right now and go over to his, I highly suggest it because it sounds like he's over on the, at the march. Um, if not, you want you can hang out here and still um, ask questions. I'm I've got I'm only gonna stay around for another like maybe ten minutes, not even. So if you have questions, I'm gonna go straight to the bottom of the chat and I'm gonna because I'm way behind. Here we go. I'm at the bottom of the chat now. If you have a question, serious question. If someone commits a violent act to you or someone else down there, who would come to help y'all in y'all's perfect world? Okay, I don't like that last part of the question, y'all's perfect world, because no one is saying that this is a perfect world, you know? Um, but there is security here, and they are all communicating, um, they're communicating uh, like crazy with walkies, and 
um, and people people are stepping in to uh, t to help other people. So. Um, I think the better question is, wh what did the cops do when they were here? Um, somebody drove straight into the protest and shot somebody, and they did nothing. So uh, we're not any worse off without the police, so I can tell you that right now. Let's see. Uh, I've learned so much today watching Ian. Man, Gina, thank you. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Hey, everybody, please remember. Oh, shit, I still got 715 people. Everybody, remember to look up what bad faith arguments are. That's your homework if you guys want to educate yourself. Bad faith arguments, ad hominem attacks, straw man arguments. Uh, concern trolling, G uh, gish galloping is good too. Uh, g uh, I didn't talk about this because it really wasn't really uh, relevant, but since I'm a, a psych nerd, um, gish galloping is when you just provide an argument over and over and over again, like or um, a series of arguments rapid fire, not giving the other person a chance to respond to any of them and not acknowledging any of their responses, but just adding piling on more. It's like it's called gish galloping. Um, let's see. Uh, tell them, watch them walk by. March is the march is over. Okay. Expect for them to put the money into black communities, not give it to people that have been on the government for years and haven't done shit for them. Yes, uh, giving people, giving the money from SV into black communities and uh, and also um, forming community community uh, works that will help people. Um, let's see. I'm close to Andrew now. Oh, they must have they must have come back then. Uh, they, oh, you know what? They probably just did like a night march around the block because we've done that before. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's another good point. Um, D, that's another good point. Um, Occupy protests are also about um, showing people, like, and this specifically is also about showing the community that we don't need cops to, to, to have a decent community. Um, it's actually better without them, and it's that's that's what it's all about, pretty much. Um, um, it is a bit like a commune. I mean, it really is. Um, let's see. What about all stealing you people? What about all the stealing you people are doing, taking from small stores who barely make it? I don't know what you're talking about. The stores around here are fine. Um, uh, if I don't know if you noticed, but I tried to get it on the stream earlier when, when when I was when I was marching with those guys, and like there was there were people coming out of their businesses and like and like putting their fist up. There were people standing in their windows with like Black Lives Matter signs. Like they're supporting us. Um, we're not stealing. Yeah, I'm really gonna fucking sleep hard tonight. My, me? Yeah, yeah. What's up? the dopest piece you ever got. You want me to? Yeah. You want me to take a picture of you? Right here, right here, right here. All right, sure. Hold on. Uh. Let me get. Let me, let me, let me get a couple. Oh, you like that one? Oh, that's right, cause you're on. Yeah. How oh, you like that one? Yeah, that's hard. You like it? Yeah, you wanna take a lot of them? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take a few take rapid. A few, yeah, I'll take some rapid fire. Yeah. Rapid fire. Yeah. I'm gonna take some. Take pictures of these guys. You got 700 people watching you, by the way. <laughs> Say what? This is a picture. This is a live stream. <laughs> That's awesome. They give me like an album cover. I think it's good. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you're online? Yeah, I got like 800 people now. Yeah. Do you, do you guys want to say anything to like a whole group of people yeah. that like something about that you want to say about this? Yo, it's Lord. Hey, it's Lord Daddy. Matter of fact. Hey, Daffy, hey, Daffy, he's our elder right now. ATM Calico Cash, Alexa Play Swim. Man, just man, you had, you had to be there. You had to be there. She had a watch. Black Lives Matter every day. Absolutely. Not just a trend, it's every day. Fact. Every day. Every yeah, day. hey, you trendy motherfuckers aren't even trendy yet. Right. Step your fashion up. Step your fashion up. Start wearing socks and shoes. <laughs> Sanitize. Wash your hands. Stop pissing on the toilet. <laughs> I think we can all agree with that, left or right. Hey, yo, Carter. Stop pissing on the toilet, y'all. 
All right, uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that that's that's it for me, guys. I'm gonna go. It's already it's it's well, it's two minutes. Uh, I don't see anything else worth responding to that I can really see. Uh, I'll be back here tomorrow. I'm my, I'm the feature audio on woke. God damn it. Now now I'm the feature audio on woke. Um, catch me some other time woke because. What's your page? Uh, my page, it's uh, it's on Facebook, it's called Concrete uh, Reporting. Concrete Reporting? Yeah. Concrete. Yeah. Um, the, I, when we started marching to the police station earlier, uh, there were like 6,000 people watching at once. It was insane. Mm. Concrete Reporting? Yeah, re oh. reporting, like reporting. a reporter. Like a reporter. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I want to see. Yeah, please do. Please, please join... Well, like four, no, 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 it, was, it wasn't 4,000 because... No, no, because I, because I was, I, I was up to 1.9k. That's almost 2,000. And somebody said at that time that I have half as many people on my, on my actual paid stream that woke was was streaming to. So that was, so that, so if woke was, was if woke, if I had 2,000 and woke had 4,000, that's 6,000. Um, Um, thank you guys thank you all for being here thank you for sharing thank you for all this um, remember follow this page and go to um, the go to some of the posts that have been recent uh, recently posted I have a list of streaming sources if you want to jump over to any other streamers just go to them and you can watch anything across the city pretty much um, I will see you guys tomorrow probably no, 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 most, uh, most definitely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back, back tomorrow. Um, so, thank you guys. Bye.